Today I want to talk about Revelation 3.10. Revelation 3.10 is a really clear scripture that the pre-tribulation rapture believers will pull out to prove their doctrine. Here's what Revelation 3.10 says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, so it's not so clear. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the tribulation. It doesn't say anything about the rapture. Okay, but because there are no clear scriptures that teach a pre-trib rapture, these are the type of vague scriptures that pre-trib raptures will use to, to try to prove their doctrine. So when they read this, instead of just interpreting it literally and seeing, okay, hour of temptation, they just automatically see that as the seven-year tribulation. Now, I don't see how hour of temptation can translate into seven years of tribulation, but that's what they believe, even though that's not what the verse says. But a couple things about this verse that prove that theory to be wrong is that, number one, the prerequisite for being kept from the hour of temptation is keeping God's word. The Bible says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Well, you don't have to keep God's word to be saved. You only have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The Bible says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. And so if you had to keep God's word to go up in this so-called pre-trib rapture, well, that would be work salvation. Keeping the commandments of God, keeping the word of God, uh, keeping God's word, that is not going to get you to heaven. You've got to believe on Jesus Christ to get to heaven. It's, it's salvation by faith, not by works. But not only that, the same people who teach that Revelation 3.10 is about the pre-trib rapture, they also teach that Revelation 2 and 3 are teaching seven church ages or periods of time covering the last couple thousand years from the time of Christ, and that each one, this is in uh, Schofield Reference Bible, for example, each one represents these certain years of time, and they all invariably teach that we are living in the Laodicean church age, and we're so lukewarm. And how many times have you heard people say, we're living in the Laodicean church age? Now, I don't believe in those church ages whatsoever. That's a whole other subject. But I will say this. If... Revelation 3.10 is about the rapture. Well, are they saying that the rapture already happened? Because supposedly we're out of the Philadelphian age and we're into the Laodicean age and Revelation 3.10 is spoken to the church at Philadelphia. So if Revelation 3.10 is supposedly about the rapture, why is it spoken to the church of Philadelphia if that is supposedly a period of time that has already passed? Well, the bottom line is all of this is false doctrine. The truth of the matter is that the church at Philadelphia was a literal church located physically in a town called Philadelphia. It had nothing to do with church ages or periods of time. That's all a man-made false doctrine taught by Schofield and others. It's not real. And the hour of temptation has nothing to do with the seven-year tribulation whatsoever because there is no seven-year tribulation. The, the tribulation lasts uh, far less than that. And so this is basically just grasping at straws, trying to find something that teaches a preacher rapture. It, it just, frankly, it just isn't there.